Good morning, everybody. Four to nine. Ew. Yes, day one, two, three. One twenty-three is for me. Not this job calling me. Yes, so stop allowing something you can't change to affect something you can change. I'm going to repeat that. Stop allowing stuff that you cannot change, right? You have no control. You might as well surrender, okay? You have no control over to affect what you can change. I'm going to give you a good example of this. A lot of us hold on to the past, right? I'm, I'm a past holder. I can, I, can, I can admit that. You know, you hold on to stuff you can't change. You can't change how you was raised. You can't change what you have learned. You can't change the traumas you've been through. You can't change any of that, right? But we allow that to affect what we can change moving forward. You understand? A lot of people use that as an excuse for bad behavior. You don't know what I've been through. You don't understand the trauma you caused. Yeah, I understand it. You understand what I'm saying? I understand it, but that does not make it acceptable for people to behave that way. For you to behave that way. For me to behave that way. Based off of something I can't change? Th think about that. Think about how much you hold on to. Of stuff that you cannot change. Hold on to people you can't change. Things you can't change. And this ain't just for people in recovery. This is all of us. We all recovering from something. Okay? Mine just having to be wrong and now, huh? You know? Other people might have maybe recovered from other things. You feel me? I'm just saying, like, stop allowing something you cannot change. You can't change anything from the past. Nothing. Because if we could, oh, my God, the things I would change. You understand? But we cannot allow the things that we cannot change to affect the things we can change moving forward. Make that change. For tonight, you.